before we do that, we got some um, boxes. We're gonna eventually bring these upstairs. These are the, from the container store. We got some large drop front boxes. So we gotta transplant these upstairs. Um, I'll probably do that when I get back. I got a few errands to run. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my quick it little All my containers, right? This is the wall of containers. So the project I got going on, we'll take inside the closet real quick. Y'all see half of the containers already stacked, right? But we got this freaking shelf in the way. So we can remove this shelf. Take, well, clearly, clear. take all these boxes down first, remove the shelf, and then we're gonna stack all the new containers up here. So I'm gonna have one section with nothing but containers. Eventually, I like to do this whole row on the right-hand side where all my hats and Jordan 1s. This is the angle where I shot the Air Jordan 1 collection video. Man, I was inside a closet, throwing boxes out, stacking them up here. And um, clearly, I got shoes up here as well. So yeah, that's what we about to do today. Let me back out of it. Yeah, man, also got shoes right here. Got shoes on the floor, couch. But anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and and get this taken care of. All right, homies. Um, all right, so outside of taking care of that closet, man, uh, removing the shelf, stacking my container lids to the ceiling, I gotta run to Best Buy. I gotta pick up a solid state drive and some memory. I got this 2012, the slowest molasses, old school MacBook Pro, Apple MacBook Pro. Well, the homie asked me if I could optimize it for him. He's gonna be using that computer to, for DJing. Essentially, he wanna start DJing. He got all the time in the world, so he's gonna learn how to do that. So I told him, you know, I could hook you up. You know what I'm saying? I use my skills to optimize that computer for him. I've done it back in the days, probably eight years ago, maybe six years ago. I can't remember. We actually removed the hard drive from it, add a solid state drive, make it a little bit faster. Um, add upgrade the memory and then I also use a CD-ROM Because this joint do got a CD-ROM. Yeah, I see right there um, I removed that add a external hard drive on there So I had essentially two drives on that one computer. I'm not quite doing that But I'm optimizing so it'll be fast and efficient so he can start DJing That's my project. That's two of them. We're about to go to Best Buy pick up the memory the hard drive come back and get it started man So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. And hopefully um, we got some packaging today, man. I think I think I should get some deliveries, man. So hopefully this video is not too long. All right, let's make it. Peace. So Best Buy is not allowing anyone inside the building. So you got to pull up and they'll bring your packages to you, man. So that's what I'm about to do. Get some people outside, bring stuff out, direct the traffic. I'll show y'all a little bit of it. Yo. Crazy time we live in, man. Who would have thought that we had to go through this just to pick up some items, man? That's what it is, though. All right, homies, so I'm back in the crib, man, in the sneaker office. Uh, right now, I'm about to go ahead and clean up that mess behind me. That's like the outlet plug stuff that I put on the website for the outlet plug, outletplug.com. Plugging myself about my website. Um, so that's where all the shoes been lying for the last couple months. I don't think I really sold anything recently, but I'm gonna lower the prices, you know what I'm saying, so I can get them moving whenever that's gonna be. I don't even know, don't hold me to it, but I, I'll, I'll throw some new stuff up there. Um, that said, um, I'm gonna move that first, then we'll get into the closet, cause I gotta rearrange the closet. I gotta take the shoes off the shelf. Um, once I get that done, I'm, you know, got my drill. So I'm gonna take care of that. Then we're gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna show this, but I'm gonna get that taken care of as well. Then I gotta go downstairs and do some chores too in the house, man. So this is gonna be like a in the crib vlog, man. So let's get into it. I'll probably time lapse this whole thing so you guys can enjoy it. All right, I'll see you in a bit, you know, for that conversation piece. All right, peace. Alright y'all, that's completed. As y'all can see behind me, it is clean. That clutter is out of here, man. Now we gotta move to the closet. Wow, my bad. Got some shelves to remove, bro. Probably time lapse the whole thing as well, man. I'll see y'all in the closet. Peace. 
Houston, we got a problem. Yo, the actual screws inside the wall that's holding the shelves up, it's not a Phillips head, star screw jar. It's none of that. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen it before, man. Maybe you guys could tell me, because I'm, I don't even know if I have an actual bit that can unscrew that. Y'all take a look. So, take a look at it. This piece right here, sorry for the noise, I'm just swapping the mic around. Look at that. What is that? I don't have, that's the only regular screwdriver I see, man, if I could zoom in for y'all. Oh, I can't zoom on this camera, I forget. Actually, let me take it apart. All right, that's a regular screw. I got that. But that, or this, I don't know what those are. What is that? What type of screw is that? I have no idea. So that's kind of, but that's the actual hold up now, man. So I gotta find a screw that can unscrew this shelf. It's always something, man. It's always something with home improvement. Damn. So apparently, apparently those are nails, man. I didn't even know. It's not much home improvements. I have done in the past, but I have got the bracket down. That was literally held by those two screws I showed you guys. So when I took that off, I was able to take the shelf off, but I still got the studs in the wall to actually hold that bracket up or that shelf rather. And I also got the another piece on the left wall that I'm trying to pry out right now, man. So almost done. Uh, we're gonna clean that up and then we'll start installing these uh, drop front boxes in the closet. So I'm out of breath, man. That's, that's things giving me work. Time to use this. Finally did it, got it out, man. Got it out, got it out. This is what was holding me up, man. It's like, see those little two screws, actually nails, and then got the little wall stud that's holding it in place. Anyways, that's done. Let's move on to the next step. All right, boxes are upstairs. Now let's do the damn thing. My son's in here with me, but um, I got all the screws off the laptop. I already did the room. I'll show you guys that at the end. Text message going off. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, yo. Hard drive is out. Now we got a... Oh, sure, I forgot about the memory. Probably install this first, and then we'll do the hard drive, even though the hard drive is out. But this is the hard drive we're gonna be using mac memory has been added this is the old memory this is four gigs i just added eight now let's get to the solid state memory's in hard drive is in phone's going off um but i put this lid back on after i clean it and then we'll see if we can boot this thing up yo for y'all mac users out here yes i have to install mountain line oh wow mountain line okay it's still old it's about what five years old mountain line but anyways, while I'm doing that, I'm replying to my comments, man. I know a lot of you guys watch that Air Jordan 3 video. So you guys seem to like it, so I'm replying to y'all, man. So I got my computer here while I'm working on this. Hopefully this works, man, because I've been through some headaches over here. Anyways, we're making progress. Went through the first reboot. Now we on the second. It's installing. 20 minutes remaining. Let's hope this works. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it, man. Select your state. I think this is it. What so, in the world? If you know how to use voiceover, press <laughs> command F. We ain't using voice now. Alright, so we're gonna take a break from the action. I'm gonna show you guys the closet towards the end of this video. But one of the Q and A's I have gotten or questions I have gotten in the Q and A was what shoes do I hoop in? So I better can show you than I can tell you, man. And by the way, the Q and A is coming up here shortly. It's already been shot. It's already been edited. I just want to shrink it, get it down to an appropriate size so you, for viewing purposes. Nobody want to watch a 30 minute Q and A, right? I don't know, maybe I do. 
But anyways, let's get into these shoes. First up are these Hardens. I think these are crazy lows. This is the Harden shoe that he hooped in before he got his signature shoes, like the volume ones and the twos. He hooped in this. You see his signature on the tongue. He got the boots on the back of the heel. Very comfortable shoe. It's probably up there, if not one of the best Adidas basketball shoe. It's between these joints and this joint. These are the Dame twos. And someone in the comments a while back mentioned Dame never had boosts. This is a prime example. Speaking of prime, it's also fitted with prime knit on the midfoot. Um, shoes very comfortable, very durable. As you can tell, man, your boy went through some wars in these, man. Still love it, still having the collection. Even though I got rid of a lot of my Adidas shoes, these two have tested the time with me. Love them, I still hoop in them. I played in this recently, haven't played in this in probably, probably two years. Next up are my Nike uh, basketball shoes, man. First, we're gonna talk about the Kyrie's. I think these are Kyrie's twos, also the same year as those Dame twos. This joint came out around 2016. This is the one with the strap right here and with the removable swoosh on the strap and also removable pieces as well. They got patches throughout the shoe. Kyrie didn't play in an all-star game that year. He didn't make it, um, or he was hurt. I can't remember the details of it, but this shoe really never hit anywhere. I think the outlets and some Ross or whatever, I got this off of eBay a while back, a while back. Next are these PGs, man. These are the Ampersite Hot Punch. Y'all can see with the colors. Now the laces I did flip. I did bought these laces off of Amazon. This is not the laces that came with this shoe. And you can tell it's called Hot Punch because you can see that little hot punch neon orange or red or hot pink you ever want you want to call it the neon green throughout the shoe man and obviously it's clearly anthracite that whole grayish looking color but these are the pg twos i believe man yes they are um hooping them very good shoe very quality got the zoom unit on the front of the shoe man very very good shoe next we got the pg nassau joints these are all great joints you already know they had a shoe before this which was the original nassau orange and Blue, yes, I had those joints, didn't care for them. I uh, got rid of them, I got these at the outlet. They were hitting for $84 or $88 with additional 20 or 30% off. These are all gray. Zoom on the forefoot, silver swoosh on the lateral side, and a Nassau stamp on the back of the heel, and also a Nassau joint on the tongue. Very comfortable shoe, love playing this shoe. Uh, PG2s, you tripping, these are PG3s, these are PG2s. Next up is the homie KB, Kobe, the Black Mama. These are Nike IDs, copped these last year. Uh, these actually fa came fairly quick. Typically these shoes take three to six weeks to make. This shoe came extremely quick. Uh, some of the Nike IDs I like making and, and in the future will be this colorway right here, that red and yellow and black. I love that colorway. At first I wasn't psyched about making these and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. I didn't like the shoe, the solo web because it didn't have the fold and zoom like the regular signature Kobe has. But I bought it, give it a try, rocked them, and I love them, man. I love these shoes way before the whole tragedy. Um, these shoes forever stayed in the collection. Still hooping these, and I love that glow-in-the-dark outsole. Yeah, I also see that metallic gold swoosh as well. Dope shoe. And the other pair, I have Nitty on the... Well, Nitty without one of the Ts, because we don't allow four, four uh, letters. But anyways, Kobe, AD. Nike ID or Nike by you is think it's, that's what they call them now. Next up are these Kobe R red joints. Cop these in the outlet. It was hitting for like I think 89 or 90 with additional 30% off. I just know I paid like roughly around $60. This was Black Friday in the Nike outlet 2018, maybe 2017. Can't remember. Uh got them for a great, great, great deal. The lockdown on these is crazy. It's got the full length zoom in it. I believe it does. Yes. You can take the outsole in, you can see the whole zoom pad. Comfortable shoe, definitely. The only thing I don't like about it is the material they use on this shoe. It's not fly knit like you can, that you see in the signature shoes. Is this random material, which I'm not a fan of, but it's an all Tsuwu color shoe, black and red, man, love it. And my most current rock shoe right now, rock this 30 day straights are these KD 11s. Are these the KD 11s? It better be the KD 11s, I'll be forgetting, man. KD, oh, now I gotta fat check myself. These are the KD 12s. My mind is, is going crazy, man. This is actually the second time I'm shooting this video, probably the third. Uh, I didn't like the lighting on the other video. And um, quite frankly, I think I have a better flow in this video currently. So this is actually the last shoe, so I'm wrapping it up right here. 
cop this shoe at the Nike outlet, size 11 and a half. And one thing about these shoes, you gotta go true to size. So if you're a true 12, I recommend you buying a true 12. Don't cut no corners, man, because the toe box is creasing right here. But I sacrificed that because the shoe is phenomenal. I still hoop in it, and the price I paid was crazy, crazy cheap. $54 out the door, Nike outlet on International Drive, the clearance store to be exact. Um, but I prefer a 12. Now I have another pair of shoes, the same uh, silhouette, same model, um, just not the same colorway. I got the KD12s, the kids, which is like a neon green or yellow, fluorescent yellow or Volt colorway. If you guys like to say I love all Volt shoes, if that's in the closet, that shoe I will play it on, you know, play in a couple years later down the line. I got so many shoes that I haven't gotten to yet. That's why I'm currently pooping in these, rotating them every so often. But that's it, man. Show you guys two Adidas shoes, uh, about two pairs of PGs, three Kobe's, and one KD. Those are my current basketball shoes I have in rotation. Clearly, I have some other shoes in rotation, but I kind of, this is my second wave. Those That previous wave has gone and went. I think I got rid of some of them. I still got a few of them in the previous wave for sale if you guys care to. Pull up to outletplug.com. I'll have them on there for a dirt, dirt cheap price. Um, other than that, oh yeah, I almost forgot about wrap it up, man. We got to go and check this closet out. I'll see y'all inside the closet. Just wrapped up shooting the shoes. This is the equipment. A lot of people want a room tour. I had a whole bunch of shoes right there. I'm sorry, it's kind of dark in here. TV right there. And this is the sneaker wall. Y'all see that big old, whatchamacallit behind me, that light. And this is the sneaker office, man. What up? Yo, move that shelf. So now I got all my Air Maxes all the way down to the ground. Um, and this is where, or this cubby is where I play, I apologize, this cubby is where I play, play, why am I keep saying play? This cubby is where I place all my balling shoes in. As you can tell, the Kobe's got his own slot. These are the Kobe Nike IDs, when it was Nike IDs, Kobe 10s, which is one of my favorite models. The 33 I haven't hooped in yet. Um, also got some Kobe's uh, Pro Chos. Dope colorway, ain't never getting rid of those. Here's some dunks that I never show you guys. I love these dunks, man. These are the coffin dunks. Um, but yeah, this is where I keep my balling shoes, and you see the Hardens right here, and these cubbies. Also got some LeBrons right here as well. Um, eventually I would get to hooping those. And then up here, right there, I uh, got more KDs and those, and more PGs, which I have not hooped in yet. So yeah, man, that's just a quick look at my shoes, my office. So, oh, let me get this light back on me. There you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you're new and you like what you just saw, see, if you knew and you like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Don't forget to hit all, hit all for the notification. Uh, this pretty much was like a vlog and all the shoes I pooped in combined together, man. I hope you guys like that. Hope this video is not too long. Um, other than that, that's it. Leave your comments down below. Your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. And I'm out of here, yo. Good to go.